they follow me everywhere. It's really great. I feel so important.
diet now compared to when you were younger? <laughs> diet now? Um, well, now it's my off season, so <laughs> probably similar to when I was younger. But um, I have I have a chef actually over in London who comes and cooks for me every day. I try to eat very healthy um, and uh, make sure I put the right things in my body because it is important. As you get older, you'll start to you'll start to realize. Make sure you eat broccoli. Broccoli. Yeah. Yeah. Like cheeseburgers. Yeah, I love cheeseburgers. Yes, I had one last night. Um, go ahead. Yeah. Where do you actually live since you moved and everywhere from Where do I live? Um, so most of the year I live in London, um, which is where Chelsea uh, is, and that's where we play. So I live there most of the time. I, I live around here. Obviously, my family lives around here, so my hometown. Is here. Yeah. Is it hard to be on a team, two different teams in two different countries? Um, yeah, it's, it's it's a lot of travel sometimes. Um, most of the year I'm based in London, but yeah, um, right after the Champions League final in uh, in Porto, I had to travel over to Denver like the next day. So it was kind of crazy. So it is gonna be a lot of travel. Yeah. Yep. What do you do to help train? To help train? Well, I mean, when during the season, I'm training with the team every single day, um, and. Uh, yeah, when, when, when I'm in the off-season, I normally have uh, some trainers and coaches who, who come and work with me um, personally. And uh, yeah, just always trying to get better, really. Yeah. How did your parents feel when you moved far away from home? Um, you'll have to ask them. They're here somewhere. I'm sure, I'm sure it, was, uh, it was tough. My, my dad came with me the first uh, first couple of years, which was nice. But uh, yeah. Um, it was tough. It was tough to leave the family. Yeah. Do you like playing in the center of um, I, I like, I like both. I, I'd probably say the center a bit more, um, but more so on the left side than, than the right side, I would say. Yeah. Go ahead. Friends on Chelsea. Friends on Chelsea. Um, you guys know Conte? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's, he's my best friend. Um, Christensen. Uh, and a lot of the younger English guys. I'm really Billy Gilmore? Yeah, Billy. Yeah, Billy Gilmore. Oh, I'm mad at him. <laughs> yeah, he's cool. Go ahead, talk to him. Yeah. Uh, you like Mason Mount? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you go for it. What do you plan on doing after soccer? Um, I, I mean, I hopefully I still got a long time to go until then. But uh, I probably stay in the game. Um, I love working, you know, working with kids, especially in soccer. So maybe something to do with that. Yeah. Do you ever have free time? <laughs> um, well, yeah. Actually, right now is my free time. So now that uh, the season's over, at Chelsea, and I had my last national team game the other day. Um, I actually have a couple, just a couple of weeks off before I have to go back and start preseason again uh, in London. So right now is my time off. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. Did you, when you were younger, did you ever think you would be as high of a level as you were, as you are now? Um, it was always my dream to play professional soccer in Europe. Um, I never, I never thought it would happen like it did. I would say, but I, I, I wanted it to. I worked really hard because that was my, that was my dream. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool that it came true. Yep. Go ahead. How many hours in total? Total. I think I travel. Mm. Uh, that's 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 a good that's a great question. I don't even know. I mean, when I fly over to London, you know, the average flight is like you know maybe eight hours. So um, going back and forth, you can imagine that's that's a lot of hours. Isn't it basically know. like going to Australia? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to go to Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> go How'd you get into soccer? Like, who inspired you Uh, definitely my parents. Um, both my parents played uh, the game. They both met in college, um, both playing soccer there. So uh, they were the ones who, yeah, I guess showed me the game from a young age. But then I had a lot of people and inspiration, people that I looked up to and players that I love to watch. Yeah, go ahead. Do you like playing I love playing for both, to be honest. Um, Chelsea's, Chelsea's fun, uh, for sure, and then playing for your country is also really special. Uh, yeah, go ahead. I know I've missed a lot of PK shots, so I'm wondering how many PK shots you missed. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've missed a few in my day, don't worry. Um, it happens, 
happens to the best of us. Um, yeah, when you go up and take a penalty, you just got to be confident. Um, sometimes, sometimes we miss, and it happens. I miss, I miss countless. I can't. In my youth days, I remember I would miss, and I would be so upset. But there's always an excellent year. Go ahead. How do you think you will be when you stop playing? Uh, <laughs> I, I don't. I'm, I don't know. I mean, I'm 22 now. You know, I think uh, a lot of players make it. You know, around. Thirty. You know. Getting up towards 40, 36, 37, you know, getting up there. So, we have a nice long career. It was the hardest team you saw to play against? Ah, uh, I would say it's the toughest team I played against. Um, I don't know. There's some really good teams in England. I think uh, I think Liverpool's always tough. Man City are really good. Um, yeah, a lot, a lot of tough teams. So that's, that's a um, go ahead here, behind you. <coughs> no, 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 in front of you. No. You can go next. You can go next. In your penalty pick versus Mexico, did you know you were going top right before you died? <laughs> um, I, I, yeah, I, I wanted to go top corner. I don't know why. I was feeling, I was just feeling confident. I actually walked over to my teammate before. I, I told him, I said, pick a side. And, and, and he said, he said, go right. I was like, all right. Who'd you ask? You so, know. it's a secret. <laughs> <laughs> and, and uh, yeah. I just went for it. Yeah. Um, yeah, you were next. Uh, when you go up against Man City and Kevin De Bruyne, uh -huh. what do you think? Like, what's your mentality? Um, yeah, I mean, we, we know Man City's a tough team to play against. Like, you know that you're not going to have the ball a lot because they love to be on the ball. You know they pass a lot, and it's a lot of defending. So it's kind of just, uh, for me personally, it's like preparing for those moments where, you know, where we do get the ball and in transition. And, and uh, yeah, just being being ready all the time because they're they're not perfect as well. You know, they make mistakes. And you have to you have to you have to capitalize on that. I want to make sure I get all the people in the back. Go ahead. Yeah, you go ahead. Yep. So when, for example, like the nation game against Mexico, uh -huh. it had all like the kind of crazy fans. Yeah. Just calm, like that and not let it get yeah. You, you don't really, you know. Yeah. <laughs> The atmosphere is crazy in those games. It's kind of just uh, I've experienced those type of games before. Um, playing in, in that in that region, there's some really crazy fans. So it's, yeah, you're right. It's about just keeping cool, keeping your head, because when you got beer flying at you and cups and everything, it's it can be a lot. But uh, just trying to stay cool in that moment. Go ahead. Mm. What did you say? I would say. Uh, Basketball or golf, probably. That's your favorite sport. Like those. But, yep. Mm -hmm. What was going through your head after you won the Champions League final? <laughs> uh, it was it was just one of the, the proudest days of my life. Um, it was incredible. I had my family there with me. So just uh, I was really just thinking back to all my all my youth days, all the hard work that I had put in to get there, and it was just uh, yeah, a really really proud moment. Go ahead. Yep. Oh, what do you do to overcome injuries? Yeah, it's a, uh, that's a great question. It's part of the game. It's, um, yeah, you, you gotta, you gotta make sure that you, you know, you stay strong mentally because you can get really down. Me personally, I, I you know, I get really down because all I want to do is play. And when an injury is holding you back, it's, it's hard, but yeah, just recovering well. Um, and, uh, kind of just focusing on that next game. Maybe two more questions. All right, one, best two, question one. gets this. <laughs> All right, I don't know how to choose. Someone's got to choose one. Uh, go ahead, you got it. All right. Um, how many games did you win How many games did I win? <laughs> this season? Yes. This season, a lot. Um, we, 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 did, we, we won a lot of games, so it was, it was a good year. And then, last question right here. So, um, how does it feel to win against me? With having good players and having like a very good coach, how does it feel? Yeah, it feels it feels amazing. Um, they are obviously they're obviously a really strong team. Um, so to be able to beat them, we beat them a couple times this year as well. Is not just just an even better feeling. Um, yeah, and I guess this ball goes deep. Awesome! Round of applause for Christian. Thank you. Guys. Oh, wow. <laughs> Here's the Champions League medal here and the Nations League.
week. So two pretty, yeah, amazing wins for me. Are they real? Are they real? He should get a signed ball for that. No you should get another one. Those away too. <laughs> Sorry, These ones stay with me. Here, share your ball with. Awesome. Thank you, Christian. Uh, thank you all for, for coming out.